Hi everyone. So um, as of this past Saturday, I've now had Spinraza for one whole year. Six doses and it's pretty amazing. There's been some challenges with insurance. Um, I'm actually struggling right now because I don't have insurance at the moment. However, my new work insurance should be kicking in in November. So if I even get my seventh dose, that's uh, that's very questionable at this point because I'm only going to have Kaiser. But let's talk about something else for right now. So um, it's been a year since uh, since starting Spinraza, so a lot of things have changed for me. So I just wanted to do a video kind of just showing the difference uh, between from before I started six months and a full year. I guess I'll just go ahead and get started. All right, you can kind of see here, I'm not using hands to get up from the table. I'm gonna scoot back so you can see, but like I was close to the table. Back here, right? Um, hopefully you can see that. Okay, yeah, there we go, sort of. So if I sit down and then um, I can't really, like I can try to get up my foot, but I kind of just, I fall right back down. So I'll just stand up. I have to use my arms to stand up and then. So after, and um, this was actually after my second dose, I can now stand up from a chair. So I do have to have my feet a little bit further out in front of me. This chair is, um, it probably has me about a 90 degree angle. All right, but look, no hands. And I'm up. It still takes effort, but I'm able to do it now, which I wasn't before, which is awesome. Okay, so sitting in a chair, still the same, no hands. And I'm up. I still have to lean forward and I kind of go up on my toes, but hey, I'm still getting up. No problem. Um, leg extensions, I can go out, sort of, and then up to only a tiny bit, but I couldn't, I really couldn't go up at all before, so. And then, um, the fact is I have such jobs a few times, so I switched to like a sitting job from when I was standing all day, so I don't know if that has a difference or anything. I'll do squats, sort of, I guess, if you can call them that. Like holding onto a chair, and then I just bend my knees a little bit and go back up, because I always feel like I'm going to fall, and not really sure how supportive this chair is. But, I can still... <laughs> I can still only go down about that far, um, which is exactly what I could do before then. Walks with the chair. All right, so I'm going to do it sideways so you can see this. So I use the chair to go down the squats. I really, I haven't done this since, since six months ago, so we'll see. We're going down like this and up. I'm, I'm going to get rid of the chair. I need to like lean forward. Sort of, so I can go down like this. I know it's not really proper form, but otherwise, if I lean back like you're supposed to, like this, I feel like I'm gonna fall over still. So maybe if I had something to support me more, um, cause like with the chair, if I go out, this chair's not that supportive, so I could go back and up, but I still, I feel like I'll just pull the chair right down with me. Getting on the floor is also a little easier. I still kind of fall, uh, but I can oh, use the couch there as a lever and that didn't work out. Getting on the floor, I can't, I can't do it with no, well I probably could, but I'd go crashing down, so I'm not going to try it. So I still kind of just go like this. I'm finding, so I work with kids, so I've kind of been sitting on the floor a lot. I'm finding my legs kind of hurt when I sit in this position just because of how tight they are but the fact that I can sit in this position is is pretty good. Lunges something I have always been wanting to be able to do um I still can't yet but hey that's okay you never know right I can however um, I'm off balance I can kneel um to push up I like I try and nothing happens uh, my other side, my right side, is a little weaker, but same thing. Look, I can I can get into it. Um, again, off balance, 
with support but I try oh see this one's even harder I try and like on the last one you could see my knee would come up a little bit this one that doesn't happen at all I've not tried getting up from before let's see so no hands okay so I can go like this I don't think I can get up from before with no hands but we're about to find out Oh, this is hurting my knee yeah so I no this just hurts my knee too much right now but you probably see how much easier it is for me to just get into the position on my knee and forward and forward and I'm I really don't think I can do it um I think I'll just come crashing my knee back down into the floor this floor is very hard so I don't want to, um, I don't really want to try right now because of that. I haven't really been able to do before just the leg lifts. Um, so now, um, I'm just like laying down one knee up, one elbow out. I can go up a little bit on my right leg, which is the weaker leg on my left leg. I can go up pretty high, which is awesome. Um. Knee extensions, those as well. So leg lifts. So before I was laying down, I'm not sure if I can do it this way yet. Not really. Um, so kind of laying down using my abs to support me. So with my right leg, with my left leg, it's a lot easier just because my left leg is so much stronger. Um. The other things, just even being able to uh, sit in like a squatting position, I can't, I'm not even sure if I can get into a squatting position. Um, it's, it's cold here and when it's cold, my muscles get really tight and, um, let's see. So I can go back like this, but all the way, I'm going to do something to try and support myself a little bit. We shall see. So I'm using a chair and the wall. Okay, there. Oh, cool. See, yeah, I can't really stay in the squatting position. That would be nice to be able to do as well. Squatting position. So, I mean, this, a lot of it, I have to stretch, okay? But getting into the squatting position is the hardest part for me. Especially in this boy's slippery ouch. <laughs> My goodness. Here. I'm gonna put your chair behind me and do it that way. So it's like from the floor, it's very difficult. Especially when the floor is slippery. If I put uh, something behind me and go to it from that. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, I'm sitting in a squatting position. I have not done this before. Last time. I even tried. I fell right back over after like five seconds. Woo! Okay, so I still fell back over, but oh my gosh, that's the longest I've ever sat in, the, in that position for. That's so awesome. I'm, I'm like so excited right now. I, I completely forgot what I was going to with this. Like, I'm so happy about that. That's so, that's so amazing. It's like everything. Whenever I'm like, I'm still discovering new things that I can do, and every time it's like, oh my gosh, wow, that's so cool. Um, I use the chair to get down on the floor too, because it, it really helps. But anyway, so I'll be here, and then I kind of have to like go to my knees, and get up that way. I don't know if you can really see this, and then like sort of cement my back and give me a touch up, and then just walk my hands up in. And I don't know, it's not really the best description, but... Getting up from the ground, that is something I have always had a hard time with. Uh, let me show you so you can get an idea. So it's a lot easier for me to have like something to hold on to. Um, probably not a wall, that would be a very good idea, but like a chair that is kind of like, I'm sorry, I keep hitting the stair railing with that, but the chair, I can get up like that. Um, let me show you that like this and then just like sort of lean over without a chair uh, without a 
chair is pretty much the same I get on all fours. Go into like a push-up position and some yoga positions there. And then getting up off the floor. So I will show you, I'll show you first without the chair and then I'll show you with a chair. So for me, I kind of just go into my knees and then up to the push-up, just bring one leg forward and then like that and I'm up. I'm guessing not much of a difference. Maybe you'll see one, I don't know. Um, Wow, I'm still, sorry guys, I'm still like, wow, I was able to sit in a squatty position and now I want to do that like all day, every day. Maybe not all day, but you know, at least once a day to practice it and see. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and with the chair. So, with the chair, I'll just go down like this and then I'll just stick a whole leg out and kind of just push up like that. And... I'm up. Woo. All right, guys. On this one, I apologize for the weird angle. I realized I did not um, talk about going up the stairs, but I um I don't have anyone here to help me with the stairs this time, like with recording it. It's just me, and I don't have any like stand or anything to put my phone on right now. So this is a weird angle, but stairs have gotten a lot easier. Here, let's go. Alright, no hands by the way. Just like that. Um, I could do... Well, you know what? I haven't actually tried doing all of the stairs yet. Um, but I probably... I probably could. I don't know. I really haven't tried because I get lazy sometimes. Alright, and of course, because like I promised when I got to 100 subscribers and I did the balloons and didn't get through them, so I have my balloon today. By the way, I want to know, did you guys try like tossing it back and forth like this? I really, I want to know how it went. And with the elbows too, like, oh, like this, cause this feels good on my elbows. Anyway, I want to know how that went. Let me know, please drop me a comment of how that went. If you tried it, if you didn't give it a try and let me know. All right, here we go, ready? This one just not want to go. Okay. Um, this one. The question is, do you like or dislike surprises and why or why not? Well, that's a tough one for me to answer. It really depends on the type of surprise and when it is. So like like a surprise party, it kind of depends on my mood the day. Um, I can be very introverted, so sometimes I just want to be alone. Um, if it's a good surprise, um, what's a good surprise? Like, like someone's like, oh, hey, I got you this because I thought of you or whatever. And it's a surprise like that. I love it. Um, it just like, it really depends on what it is. I don't know how to answer that. If it's like, um, if I walk into, um, like people not being, not doing what they're supposed to do, then it's like, ah. Eh. No, I, I prefer not to be like that because I don't like getting mad. Like, I hate getting mad. So, anyway, that's that's my answer for that one. Um, anyway, wow, that's so amazing. So, on camera, you actually saw me be able to do something that I didn't even know I could do. That's, like, well, I'm still, like, amazed by that. Anyway, like my shirt says, believe. I believe. Believe in yourself. Believe that it's possible because you just, you never know. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you want to see more, um, if you want to see other stuff, comment. Let me know what you want to see. If you like these videos, please give them a like. Um, subscribe. That would be great. All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a great week if I, um, if I don't record before the end of this week. All right, guys, have a good one.